All right, all you scallywags. Are we having a mutiny, or is the good just shining through? This is your Hexican news for yesterday, December 20th, 2023. First off, the Battle of Pulse Chain Foundation continues. This might seem like a war instead of just a battle if you believe that people are attempting to gain total control of Pulse Chain in the future. Speaking of, did you guys know that David Fetter could do some shit because of all the validators he is overseeing for people who are paying him monthly or yearly? Anyway, the argument for the Pulse Chain Foundation was between ID Block and some guy from Atlanta. Supposedly this guy in Atlanta came out to the Pulse Tour and met RG3. His argument is someone needs to get busy for business relations. Establish trust and dependable source of information. He bragged about being within two phone calls of Richard Hart which raises a flag, whether good or bad, is to be determined. The argument took place on Discourse Syndicate's channel with Corey Costa123 as the failed mediator. Why was I tuning in, because RG. 3 pulled the plug on an interview with presidential candidate Shiva. Yes, you heard that right. RG3 scrapped an interview with a presidential candidate to let Corey mediate a fight. Ha, huh. and the argument was not settled at all. In fact, soon after the show, Black Hexican tweeted, What a joke this guy is. You're delusional. You claim to be only concerned with removing scammers but literally trying to get paid off squatting on a name yet doing nothing but sitting in chat rooms. She goes on to say, No respect for you. Some of ID's responding tweet says, Yes, I have spent thousands of hours in the chats. I can relate, as a moderator of chats and being a community's first point of contact. I can understand the pride he has taken in his actions. I believe ID Block said he would sell paperwork in the domain name for around $1,000. After all, it cost him $700 to set up. So, I wonder what we are going to learn going forward. $1,000 is not a lot of money for a person that wants to become the face of Pulse Chain. Am I crazy? Trap Gravity said, let's see who outperforms. Hex is the way says, the validators are the decentralized power running Pulse Chain. No pretended leadership is needed. Let me repeat that, Highway said. The validators are the decentralized power running Pulse Chain. No pretended leadership is needed. On to our next story. KDP got shut the fuck up. So, the other day Richard Hart tweeted a request for a bot to auto-lubricate wallets as they come over the bridge to Pulse Chain. I didn't know about this, but a lot of people responded with, I'm on it sir. And, we are already far looking into the depths of it and blah blah blah. Even Valiant Brand showed up to the build-out speculation. Here is some of what Richard tweeted. It would be awesome if someone ran a bot that just gave a tiny amount of pulse to people that bridged over. It's such a wonderful bargain to transact on Pulse Chain. Their first swap could be for some native pulse. Well, have we gotten an update from any of the work parties? Yep, sure have. Go pulse knocked it out in less than 24 hours. Done. Already ready already sirs. Leaving everyone else in the dust, like those KDPs and the crew that backs her, hires her, and provides her a script to read. Australians lose again. On to other news. Oh here we go, this might be the highlight of the broadcast. You're going to like this. Earlier, RG3 put out a tweet saying, this is a test, and the attached video looked like his new intro for a live stream show. The video shuffles squares around on the screen. It shuffles through all of the unique people who have joined him on live streams. Well, the funny thing is, Trap Gravity noted how many grifters and vampires were in the video. And so Trap decided to quote RG's original tweet asking the community, how many people in that video have asked for money from the Hex community? He's not wrong. The answer is lots. Trap's tweet ratioed RG's, getting twice as many likes. Let me share with you some of the replies. Danny Hex Orangutan posted a gif with New Orleans dancing pallbearers in it. And Highway wrote, at quick glance, probably all of them. Another guy says, most are grifters. Ding ding that is a great lesson this season in Hex Crypto. So yeah, maybe we should be making donations to public wallets backing the people who talk shit to the people who could be better actors instead of bad actors. The people that can clean up their act, but don't because they have figured out how to make the internet work for them. I'm not trying to make someone's bread disappear, but there needs to be a base level of terms and education in crypto. If anybody would like to leave a comment about money psychology I would appreciate it. What I am saying is there are few successful ideas and lots of people dressing up pigs. And I know we are going to get more pigs and know exactly how to spot one. So the launch of Pulse Chain is only going to continue in this way. But of course, when the king comes back and chimes in, some people will be scrambling to find their position. 
Anyway, but I'm serious about the donations to filters and protectors and white blood cells of the sort. If that damn trap gravity would get organized I think he could give you something worth paying for. It's like, you've already benefited from people like him. It just hasn't come in the entertainment format on a YouTube clip. Instead his actions are exposing real conspiracies and either stopping or slowing the bleed out from our hexagon community members. Besides Golden Mike D. Rush trying to save and destroy the Hex Guild at the same time, this reporter doesn't have more news to share with you. Maybe more tomorrow. Y'all be good and stake your Hex. So you may free yourselves of course. We know a lot of people don't. That's why they keep requesting your financial participation in things they have talked to others about in private. Have you ever been approached for a false pump, it happens. People talk in private about bullshit ideas that don't deserve a price tag. But back to the freeing yourself by staking. We are coming around to find more and more lying about staking. Who would do that? Sounds pretty desperate to go with the current thing. Which was, staking. Before this extra long bear market where lots of people are now attempting to time the next top of the market. Anyway, I think there are more industrious hexagons to come. I am going to be positive about good people who haven't touched crypto and are waiting to learn until we reach them with a simple message like the ones found at mailhex.xyz. That's mailhex.xyz. That is where a lot of hex outreach mailing material can be digested and downloaded. Have you ever sent a simple letter to someone? Would you do it if the topic was life-changing and influential? There are lots of ideas in the community about who to reach with your outreach. Twitter is a wild place, Telegram is a private place, Facebook is a groupy place, YouTube is a streamlined place, so where do you pick up people and are they no coiners? Or have they already been introduced to crypto as a dog-eat-dog -dog world of Wild West penny stocks? If so, they are heathens. Just kidding. But I don't make friends with shit coiners who buy literal shit with the expectation of selling it higher to someone who is emotionally overwhelmed with the organized pump. And not seeing shit for what it is. Hey SJ you listening to this? What do you think? Alright y'all, this completes the first episode of reporting in this format, I might give it a name. How about Crypto Volcano? Yeah, you like it? Crypto Volcano? Mm -hmm.